Hello, I am Nayana Karuna Ratna. Today we are doing something different. In these COVID-19 days where you need to strengthen your breathing, we are doing some breathing techniques, the proper yoga breathing techniques with an expert, Nigamji, who will take you through simple breathing techniques that will help you breathe properly and have a healthy, clean body. Today we are going to learn and practice the uh, yogic breath yogic breath so how to do this yogic breath the complete breathing uh, so the first technique of the breathing is when you inhale you fill the lungs completely and abdomen is coming out fully and the chest is expanding fully and completely so when you keep your palms on your abdomen and upper body you'll feel that when you breathe in the abdomen is coming out it should come out and the chest is expanding so that is the first technique of this uh, proper yogic breath and next is breathe as slow as possible very important to breathe as slow as possible so that you you, you take maximum oxygen maximum prana to your system and when you exhale, you release completely all the carbon dioxide and all the apanas, all the negative energies. And breathe as smooth as possible. And breathe as deep as possible so, so that you can fill your lungs completely. And breathe as long as possible. You can empty your lungs fully and completely. So slow, smooth, deep and long. These are the four golden rules of breathing. Uh, exhalation time should be double the time of inhalation so I will suggest you to breathe for four seconds inhalation and exhale double the eight seconds of exhalation because the molecular weight of oxygen carbon dioxide is greater than the molecular weight of oxygen so oxygen is a lighter air carbon dioxide is a heavy air so when you inhale you're taking the dry air oxygen and when you are exhaling you're releasing the wet air carbon dioxide it takes longer time so let us learn a very profound technique of breathing called anulom bilom the alternate nostril breathing it is the most powerful breathing technique in yoga it will completely cleanse your nadis the energy energy channels in your body and it will completely transform the way you think and the way you act also so you need to keep your left hand in this mudra chin mudra and the right hand in the vishnu mudra like you make a fist and thumbs up and last two fingers your little finger and ring finger out and keep it on your knees relax shoulder and neck relax and now how to do it very important not to do any mistakes because pranayama if you do mistake it's not good for you so first you breathe in and close your right nostril with your right thumb and exhale completely through your left nostril empty your lungs then inhale for four seconds through the left nostril inhale one two three four close the left nostril and exhale through the right nostril eight seconds om one two three four five six seven eight now inhale on your right nostril inhale one two three four exhale through the left nostril exhale one two three four five six seven eight bring your hand down now just now we have demonstrated the one round of how to do it the anulom bilom pranayam very simple not to do forceful breathing if you're finding any difficult to breathe in for four seconds and breathe out for eight seconds you can reduce to three and six three seconds of inhalation 
and 6 seconds of exhalation. Pranayam is safe for everybody. There is no restriction. Only thing is if you find any discomfort, you can stop there. And uh, ideally you do 10, 11 rounds, 11 rounds of pranayam every day, on long belong. So one inhalation, exhalation, again inhalation and exhalation is one complete round. I will teach you a profound technique called Kapalabhati. Kapalabhati is known as Kriya. Kriya means a cleansing technique. Though it is a pranayama also, it is a kriya also. So when you do kapalabhati, you completely purify your system and you transfer more oxygen. You, tra uh, you transfer more oxygen to your brain. That's why it's called brain breathing. Kapalabhati, what you need to do is sit in a relaxed cross leg position or you can sit up also and take a deep breath. You fill your lungs completely. And you need to push the air out from your abdominal area. So it's like this. You inhale deeply and do the keep your head straight, keep your neck straight while doing Kapalabhati. Your body is still, you are not moving any part of the body, you are just pumping the air out. Pumping the air out from abdomen. Okay, now come back. So these are the, ba these are the uh, basic technique of doing Kapalabhati. Just pump the air out, the diaphragm goes up and lungs are Lungs, uh, lungs is there, diaphragm pushing it and automatically the air is coming out from the system. Uh, now Kapalabhati uh, you can do uh, slow, medium and fast in each round. So you start with slow pumping, gradually you increase to medium pumping and finally you do faster. I will demonstrate. So first is like this, you breathe in. So this is slow, then you do the next speed, so this is medium and finally you do the faster, fastest. Okay, so first uh, say um, 15 to 20 times you do slow, next 30 to 35 times medium. Finally, 50 to 55 times you can do fast, gradually. So, uh, then you can take a break. After doing one round, you take a break and you give rest to your lungs. Now, how to give rest to the lungs? By stopping the lungs, suspending the breathing process. Now, how to suspend it? You focus on your bro point. So, after finishing one round of Kapalabhati, you take a deep breath and focus there. When you are 100% focused there, you are not thinking anything else, no other thoughts in your mind, automatically the lungs get into suspended state. Your breathing is suspended. It's not forcefully holding. There is a difference between forceful holding and suspending the breath. We are not holding the breath forcefully, physically. This is suspending. You have to keep in that mind because forceful holding the breath is not good for your health, but suspending, focusing there is the right way. So after one round, you, you focus there for 30 seconds, then you release, then you do the second round. Again, you focus there for 45 seconds, then you do the third round and you focus for 60 seconds. So you need to do three rounds of Kapalabhati. If you are finding any difficult, you can initially do only one round, gradually to two rounds and finally you do three rounds. Surya Namaskar is a profound technique in yoga. 
by practicing Surya Namaskar, you will activate your whole system, your, all the muscles, all the joints, and all the uh, different systems in your body. <clears throat> Surya Namaskar has to practice daily. Ideally, you practice early in the morning by facing to the sun, that is east. And when you practice in the evening, uh, you face to the west, sunset. Because the uh, sun is the major source of energy to our body. By receiving the energy, by practicing Surya Namaskar, we enhance our energy aspect of our body, uh, energy level in our body. So Surya Namaskar uh, has to be practiced empty stomach. You have to keep in mind that it should be your stomach should be completely empty. When you practice in the evening, at least four to five hours gap should be there from your last meal. So that is very important to uh, practice Surya Namaskar. Let's practice Surya Namaskar, very profound cardiovascular exercise. Uh, stand straight, feet together, body relax, hands hanging by the side of your body. First, let us take a couple of relaxed breath. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale to prayer position, both palms together in the center of the chest, exhale completely in the same position. Inhale, raise your arms up, look up and arch back, palms facing each other. Exhale, stretch and bend forward, bend from the base of your spine, pull your abdomen inside, fingers by the side of your toes. Inhale, take your right leg all the way back, right knee on the floor, right foot flat, push your hip and look up to heart's riding posture. Hold your breath. Your left leg back, inclined plane with your body, straight line. Exhale your knees, chest and forehead down, abdomen not touching the floor, elbows close to the body. Inhale, abdomen down, feet flat, feet together and arch back to cobra, open the chest, shoulder relax. Exhale, raise your hip and knees completely, look to the toes, mountain posture, raise your hip up. Inhale, bring your right foot forward in between your palms. Left knee on the floor, left foot flat, push your hip, look up. Exhale, your both feet together in between your palms, head down. Inhale, stretch your arms and arch back completely exhale come to the prayer position bring your hands down take a couple of relaxed breath inhale exhale inhale exhale now we'll do the left leg so Stand straight, comfortable. Inhale. Say. Inhale. Say. Inhale to prayer position. Exhale completely on the same position. Inhale, raise your arms up, arms close to the ears, look between your palms and arms back. Exhale, stretch your arms and bend forward from the base of your spine. Inhale, left leg all the way back to horse riding posture. Hold your base, your right leg back, incline plane with your body. Exhale your knees, chest and forehead down, abdomen not touching the floor, elbows close to the body. Inhale, abdomen down, feet flat, open the chest, shoulder relaxed to cobra. Exhale, raise your hip and knees completely, look to the toes to mountain posture, feet together. Inhale, bring your left 
foot forward in between your palms right knee on the floor right foot flat push your hip and look up to heart's riding posture exhale bring your right foot forward both feet together in between your palms inhale stretch your arms look between your palms straighten your spine and arch back completely as back as possible as comfortably as possible exhale to prayer position both palms together bring your hands down take a couple of relaxed breath then you can proceed to other rounds so this is one complete round of surya namaskar first you right leg followed by left leg similarly you can do 12 rounds every day so these are the techniques if you apply while practicing the breathing definitely your life will transform your health will improve your immune system will get strengthened and you will have peace of mind